St. John's Lutheran Church members, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for giving me, Curtis Whitkey, the principal here at St. John's, the opportunity to give you an update on the Soaring to New Heights campaign. We need your help because we're getting so close, but we want to make sure we continue to move things forward. So thank you for taking the time to watch this. St. John's Lutheran Church, this is your school. The school exists because you want it to exist. We are at your service and we need your help to continue to advance uh, the school. You are spreading the gospel through this school ministry. The work that is being done is sharing Jesus every single day with the students that God has placed in our care. And you, the St. John's Lutheran Church, are the reason that is happening. Kids are coming to know Christ and are growing in their faith through St. John's Lutheran School. It's a privilege and a pleasure for me to be able to share Jesus Christ with our students and their families each and every day. You know we have the need. We're out of space. We're leasing from First Presbyterian. We have places that we're using that, that, that we want to give back to the church. We just don't have the space that we need. We need to build. And that's exactly what we plan on doing, working with Drake Homes to establish this floor plan. Again, this is going to hold grades 4 through 12, this new 37,000 square foot facility. Grades 4 through 8 would, oops. Grades four through eight would be over on this side. A couple of classrooms for grades four and five, sixth, seventh, and eighth. We got some junior high locker rooms. Then over on this side, the launching of our high school to be able to reach those kids in grades nine through 12 as well. So there's classrooms over here, a couple of locker rooms for high school. And then in the middle, joint spaces, spaces that, that everybody's going to use, even the kids from the other buildings. And, and so here's a big gym that holds 450 uh, people on the bleachers. It's going to be a great space to be able to have uh, not only athletics, but all kinds of different events. We've got an office complex here that would serve both uh, the four through eight and the and the high school. We've got a joint a music band room and also an art room that would be used by both sides and a commons area as well. This facility is what we need to be able to maximize the amount of service we're providing to our students and the community. This, of course, is what the outside building would look like, full concrete building, stamped to make it look like brick, got a metal roof and the metal rise on the gym. Um, but these are the elevations that Drake Home Drake Homes has uh, provided to us. This is where it would go in our in our lot here. And it would fit here just really nicely. Our playground would actually stay right there. It's designed so look, grades two and three would be in the church building in this in the education wing. Grades preschool through first would still stay up in our school building over there. And this would be grades four through 12. Easy to get to or leasing green space over here from the first Presbyterian. So we still have the green space and then the building takes up. The building, of course, would be facing Charleston down here, um, located here between Charleston and Broadway. We think this is the answer in terms of our space needs and what it is that God is calling to do, but calling us to do. But this is a $7 million project. We know that's huge. And we are so thankful that the church already has a growth fund that we can be able to, to knock down that $7 million. We can take on a little bit of a mortgage and have the school cover those costs of the mortgage, but we have to get to $4 million in order to break ground. We're not going to stop at $4 million, but that's where we got to get in order to move this project forward. So our goals was to raise that full $7 million, but need to make it to $4 million in order to break ground. We knew that we were going to need at least 50 major gifts, and we define major gift as $10,000 or more, and 500 gifts total. That was our prediction of what we would need in order to reach that $4 million goal, and we have made so much progress. As of May 26th, we've raised three million two hundred and twenty thousand dollars towards achieving our goal we have 45 of those 50 major gifts but we only have 134 total gifts compared to that 500 that we're looking for we're looking for that 
the broader base support. We've got the, the 10,000, 100,000, even more dollar gifts. Now we're looking for those $1,100 or $100 gifts, even every gift that counts to help us to this through this final countdown, help us to get that May, raised by the middle of the summer so that we can move forward with breaking ground. It's less than 800,000 that we need now, but the time is running out because this building is going to take about a year to build and we really need to be in it for the 24-25 school year. So we've got a couple of months here to finish raising these funds to be able to move forward with the groundbreaking and then continue to raise funds during the construction phase. So we need your help. We hope that you will consider joining us. Most of the funds that that we've raised right now are not from people within the congregation. They're outside the congregation. But, but more and more people from the congregation are starting to support this endeavor. And we hope that you would consider doing that as well. Will you partner with us to help us uh, achieve this goal? We know that every single gift counts. And you can support the Soaring to New Heights campaign by making a pledge. This is a three-year campaign. So a lot of people are saying, you know what? I'll give you $1,000 a year for three years. Or, or maybe I'll give you $100 a year for three years. That would be fantastic. A lot of our families are starting to do things like $50 a month for 36 months for that three-year time frame. That's $1,800 gift. That's a wonderful gift. So you can make that pledge. It doesn't have to be all right now. But if you want to go online, you can do this um, through our website. The school website is stjls-mattoon.com. And here you can make a gift. If you go to the fundraising bar and then it's campaign, there's a tool on there that you can make a one-time gift or a reoccurring gift. And you can do that through a credit card or through a bank account. So it's all right there in line if you'd like to do that. If not, you want to come to the office here, absolutely drop off a check, drop off. We got pledge cards just here that you can make a, a pledge uh, to the campaign. But we also know that you know other people that would believe in this project. You can help me can, and our campaign committee connect to other people that would be willing to support this as well. We are almost there. We are so close. And I thank you for your commitment to our school and your willingness to fund this ministry. It is making a difference in the lives of so many kids and in the in this community that we find ourselves. And so we appreciate everything you do for us, St. John's Lutheran Church, and hope that you'll be willing to continue to partner with us to make all of this happen. So God bless you. Please contact me if you have any questions whatsoever.